Hey, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the Iris application. Uh, this was built for the Hack Health Hackathon uh, in Las Vegas this past weekend. And Iris does a couple interesting things um, in the healthcare environment. And in particular, it automates workflows for physicians, makes it easier to interact with patients, streamlines some types of things they'll need to do, like ordering prescriptions in labs, um, and does a lot of this through voice. So I'm going to show you how it accomplishes all this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to authenticate. So, hey, Iris, how you doing this afternoon? Notice it picked up that I was talking to it. It's recognized me as Brian. It's authenticating. So it's biometric, two-factor. I just got a text. This is HIPAA compliant. Um, you may also notice that we're in our dashboard here, and it's listening. So you can imagine this application running on a computer in a doctor's office during a patient visit. Uh, and we can do a couple of interesting things here that I'm going to show you. So let's pretend we're in a visit. I'm Dr. Brian. My patient is Timo, and he's been feeling under the weather. Timo, how are you doing today? Hey, doctor, I've been feeling a little feverish the last couple of days, and I'm not really sure what's going on. Also, I've been taking about 1,000 milligrams of Advil daily to try and uh, deal with this. Okay, Timo, can we see your latest chest x-ray? I know you went to the ER recently. Okay, that looks pretty clean. You can remove that. Okay, so your symptoms suggest that you have the flu. Um, I'm gonna do a couple things. Let's order a lab to get your blood work done. We're gonna do a CBC, a complete blood count. And I'm also going to set you up with a prescription and write you a prescription for Tamiflu. Um, and I, th I think that's about it. So you may have noticed that a couple things were going on while we were going through this um, patient visit. First of all, when Timo said I've been feeling feverish, this application picked out the specific piece of his uh, comment that uh, identified a bit of his ailment so we can deposit this automatically into an electronic health record additionally when he mentions types of medications he's taken like a thousand milligrams of Advil we can also pull that out and insert that into an EHR as well so automatically pick up important information deposit it where it needs to go moreover when I mentioned that I thought he had the flu, we automatically brought up information. Uh, this is from up to date. It's an article, some of the most recent information on treatment of the flu. Um, and additionally, there's a protocol here. Most hospitals have this. Now for the flu, this is generally widely accepted protocols, but maybe you know for some types of diseases, it's a little more complicated. So this information gets surfaced directly to the screen for the doctor to reference. Um, but the benefit being that he doesn't have to ask for this information. It's just presented to him during the course of conversation. So the doctor might be able to continue to focus on the patient, which is exactly what we want to do. Relieve them from sitting at the computer, <laughs> typing in data, stuff like that. Additionally, when I said um, to the patient, Timo, that we were going to do some blood work for him, the application also picked that out. This also can deposit this information directly to an EHR. Uh, it, it also uh, added this to our action panel. So these would be critical steps we need to take after uh, the patient visit. Um, and we can do some interesting things here, order blood work, write up a prescription, um, do some things like that. And overall, the goal here is to relieve patients from the burdensome aspects of, or relieve doctors from the burdensome aspects of patient care so they can focus back on their patients, not do data entry, uh, really tedious, annoying things like that. Now there's one other piece of this application I'd like to show you guys, and that is the DNA Explorer. This isn't really relevant for uh, patient care as much, but it's a useful thing for doctors. So if I say to this, like, can you show me my genetic profile? Also, it's going really slow because I have this, uh, JavaScript effect on the back that crashes my browser constantly. So um, all right, I'm just gonna go there. So what should be coming up? Yeah, we got a genetic profile here. You can ask it questions like, hey, um, uh, something like, uh, what is my um, lactose intolerance? 
and you probably can't hear this, but it's responding to me in my microphone saying, your lactose intolerance is mildly expressed based on this data. Um, additionally, if I come back here to the Explorer, I can ask it other questions like, can you tell me about some cancer-causing genes, things like that. Um, I can also say to it something like ALDH1. Now, this thing is, yeah, it's talking to me right now. And what it's doing is uh, it kind of pulled out a Wikipedia style backend for genetic data. Um, so you'd be able to access this easily. Now you could imagine leveraging this type of information in something like our uh, patient portal for physicians okay, so moving forward, pulling out more information, say this patient had a tumor that was sequenced genetically, and we know this tumor expresses certain genes that encode certain proteins, and we can have that information surface to us um, to provide better, more targeted healthcare uh, at the time we need it most, and overall make the patient and doctor experience faster, more efficient, and more seamless. Thanks.